Hello and welcome back to another Gutter Fighting Secrets Foreign Political Organization briefing. Today's FBO is going to be on Fatah. Now, just before we go any further here, I do want to mention that the Arabic to English translation could be considered a little tricky. Now, the way we would read this in the English letters and pronounce it would be Fatah. However, when you're looking at the Arabic letters from right to left here, what you're going to see is an F-T-H or F-T-H. Um, and basically what would be is opening, conquering, or victory, I guess, but more so opening. The full name of the movement is, it's a mouthful, Harakat al Tahir al Wataini al Filistini. So the Palestinian National Liberation Movement. From this, it was crafted kind of in reverse acronym, uh, Fatah generally rendered in English would be Fatah, obviously. So instead of saying Fatah the whole damn time, I'm just going to say Fatah. Fatah is a Palestinian organization that controls Israel's West Bank and is, you could say, the antithesis to Hamas, which controls Israel's Gaza Strip, or Gaza. Both the Gaza Strip and Israel's West Bank are lar largely Palestinian-occupied territories that fall within the Israeli borders, with Gaza being along the border with Egypt and the West Bank being along the border with Jordan. The West Bank being where the de facto Palestinian capital of Ramallah is, and this is where Fatah is headquartered. I am not intending to give you a full rundown on the history here because it is long-winded. However, I will give you some bullet points. Now, the Fatah movement was founded in 1959 by members of the Palestinian diaspora, principally by professionals working in the Persian Gulf states who had studied in Cairo and Beirut and had been refugees in Gaza. The founders included Yasser Arafat. Fatah espouses a largely Palestinian nationalist ideology in which Palestinian Arabs would be liberated by their own actions. Their political sway would be center-left to left-wing. Their national affiliation is the PLO, or Palestinian Liberation Organization. Their color is yellow. Fatah has been known to be more warmly embraced by Europe and the United States than Hamas. And there have been accusations of the United States interfering with elections and pretty much propping up Fatah. Now, I did mention about Fatah being the antithesis to Hamas. When I say that, what I mean is they don't like each other very much. And there is a lot of politics and a lot that could be said about that, but I'm just going to leave it at they don't like each other very much. They are not friends, and that's pretty much what you need to know. Unless, of course, you're heading over that way, in which case I would highly recommend seeking out a more detailed briefing instead of this broad overview. Now, much like Hamas, Fatah maintains a military wing as well as a political wing. However, the main difference here being Fatah has maintained a number of militant groups since its founding. Its mainstream military branch is al asifa or the Storm. However, it should be noted by the listener that in 1988, Fatah renounced the use of terrorism. And basically what we saw was a number of these armed groups or armed forces, you could say, kind of splintering off. A number of armed groups being associated with Fatah would be 417 Black September Organization, Fatah Hawks, Tanzim, and the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade. With the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade being one of the more notable organizations here, and I will be doing a separate briefing on this organization, so stand by for that. Should be duly noted, by the listener, however, that many of these brigades or factions, such as the Alexa Martyrs, are not generally tied directly to Fatah politics. Um, it is said that a lot of these organizations are more organized on a street level and suffer from poor unit cohesion and things like this. However, you can see them wearing the yellow color of Fatah. It is said that most of these different units are organized from factions within Fatah or tied to Fatah. As I mentioned earlier, Fatah is no longer considered 
by the United States as a terrorist organization after renouncing terrorism in the 80s. The most recent the most recent developments developments between Hamas and Fatah was in Cairo, Egypt on October 12, 2017. A new peace reconciliation was signed. Uh, however, the peace process is in shambles and thusly the Palestinian Authority and thus Fatah is the only prospective, prospective partner for a lasting solution to the conflict between the Palestinian people, Israel, and thusly the United States. All right, guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your time with a bunch of nonsense facts that you do not need to know. If you like this, go ahead and click that like button. Throw some comments down below. Please let me know what I missed, what I left out, because I did leave out and probably miss a whole bunch of stuff here. This is complex, complex stuff. Middle Eastern politics, specifically Palestinian politics, is a very in-depth and deep, deep subject. If you like this stuff, guys, please consider heading over to gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got great merchandise there. We've got, in a matter of weeks, Travel Safety 2.0 coming out for you with a whole bunch of killer travel tips, travel safety advice. A lot of what is inside Travel Safety 2.0 is not generally commercially available, although nothing is restricted. Everything is open source information. You will have a hard time finding a package as thorough as this when it comes to your personal security while traveling abroad and overseas. And that's going to be a direct download available at gutterfightingsecrets.com. We are listener and viewer supported. So if you do feel like these videos and briefings help you out, please consider making a donation. Every single penny counts. It really is a win-win because we get funds to go ahead and keep cranking things out and you get great content. All right, guys, please remember until next time that you are your first and last line of defense. And I will see you in our next foreign political organizational briefing.